The picture program is like where this person can come into your classroom and they'll show you like a picture and then they'll explain it and it'll stay in your classroom for a couple days or like a week or so and then they'll bring a new one and the cycle will repeat. I got started at ArtReach um, with a picture program when my boys were in elementary school. The docents will um, introduce to children um, well-known pieces of artwork to expose them to art that they might not otherwise get a chance to see. You have like a little bucket with you and you just scroll something in it or use paint. They just paint the road and you have certain squares to paint. How, do, how exciting is it that people get to drive by and see your work all the time? Um, it's really exciting. If it wasn't for programs and institutions like ArtReach, we wouldn't have painted streets. There wouldn't be a dance floor out for the Max Limited Summer Concert Series. The things that they provide for downtown uh, are unsurpassed by anybody else. They do the great things. At peak, they just call a bunch of people up to paint the banner, and they tell you, like, from there to there, like, you could paint a quarter of a C, the other person will paint another quarter until it was finished. So the first year I did my banner, I did a bird, and it was a colorful one. And then this year I did a horse face, like its face and its neck. It's actually pretty exciting so other people can see um, the art that I do and how I do it. They would bring it to the um, peak program and um, the peak teachers would always like give us a design and then we just had, we um, just painted it. And you get to like express yourself. One of them said like kind is the new pretty I think. But yeah. And yeah, so it's both of mine had like encouraging quotes in my character. How did it make you feel that you kind of got to an opportunity to share that message with the town? It's really fun because I know some people aren't like confident in themselves. It's really cool to see it all around, around town and to like go find mine and my friends. I made each side different. One is like almost all green, like, and this one is like nature. We came to this back classroom and there was a teacher that came and she um, helped us with this painting and I have it up in my room now. And she just like told us step by step how to do it and everything. And they all turned out really good and cool. I could, um, paint them and then go home and show my family. I've painted um, for the um, chair affair and art flair um, a child's Adirondack one year and a bench and another bench. So um, it's just fun to be able to um, create something fun that I like. So when I was doing my planter, um, I got almost 200 volts and I won a $100 check. I haven't spent it yet, but I might use it on some more art supplies. And that was really fun to do the chalk work um, and I like to see it every year and the, the depth that it um, shows in using chalk on the sidewalk.
What I love seeing in each event at the Wellspring Literary Series are students, faculty members, and community members coming together uh, across our community. It really knits together town and gown, uh, bringing um, a, usually a large crowd. There are poetry readings around the state, but uh, this is unique in that we combine music and food, and um, also a, a student poet reading with a prominent Michigan poet. So a CMU student gets a live audience um, for a poetry reading and it's incredible experience for them because these are students who want to go on and write fiction and poetry and to be able to read their work in front of a live audience is, is a tremendous experience for them. I'm glad that ArtReach is in Mount Pleasant because I've never seen a um, program that offers um, a gallery and classes and um, hands-on for anybody in the community that wants to participate uh, in the programs. They add the color. They're the color commentary to life. If, uh, if you're looking at a blank canvas, they're they're the color of it. They're the crayons, they're the markers, they're the pen. From painted sidewalks to the painted streets to uh, the banners to all the programs they have here in the shop uh, to Art Walk Central um, to the great artists that get to showcase their works uh, throughout town. All that's possible because of the hard work and dedicated people that are our reach. Towns like Mount Pleasant absolutely require uh, places like ArtReach um, because they are engines of, of creativity but also uh, locations for communities to gather. Um, you know you have your coffee shops and places like that but, but ArtReach brings our community together to engage and, and in a time like we're living in we really need to talk to each other to expose ourselves uh, to new ideas and, um, and to art. Because it brings people together and it inspires people and it like promotes artists. I think ArtReach is important for the community because it gives people around here the chance to express themselves and it's just a lot of fun. ArtReach has been around in the community for almost 40 years now, and we've been very fortunate to have the strong support of donors and advocates for art in the community. Without the advocates for the arts, we would not be able to continue doing what we're doing. On an annual basis, we provide art programming to thousands of individuals here, primarily in, in, in Isabella County. We hope that you'll continue to support us again. Thank you. Thank you.